Okay, now if you're anything like me, you're gonna want to know what are all the goodies around the tub. That's the best part, right? <laughs> okay, well, let's show you. Uh, first of all, I have here Bay Harbor Beauty, a great company out of Texas. Yep, there you go. It is a foaming scrub, it's wonderful. Very softening, let me open it for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Again, it's a foaming scrub, great for exfoliating, yet yeah, very softening. And I love it. This happens to be the pumpkin creme brulee, but I keep this one by my tub, and I love them. I love a lot of them. She has a lot of different scents. And then here, just a razor with my cute little whale tray from my daughter, Samantha. These are some exfoliating cubes and I believe the name of the company is the same as this. Made in New Hampshire and it's the uh, Graceful Rabbit. She has a lot of nice soaps and, and everything and I find her different places here in New Hampshire. This I got a tropical coconut bath salt and I apologize, I don't remember where I got that. These are two soaps, the Sweet Pea and Clover. I actually got it at Linda's store down in Peterborough. And the sea salt and lavender smells so nice. Uh, where did I get that? I got that at a little boutique store when I was visiting a little town in New York State. And Linda, if you're watching, this is the scent I was telling you you need to get for your store. I love it for summer. And then my little sea sponges. You can see my jar. I don't know if you can see or not. The ships etched on those. Consignment store, of course. And then another little bath salt. I got that at a craft show here. Here in New Hampshire. Ah, uh, there's no name on it. I believe it's just some lavender in some bath salts. So anyway, and then the little tree, it does light up. These birch trees were here. They were painted on the walls when we bought the house. If we redo the bathroom, which we want to, we do have um, an issue going with a possible leak near the shower. So we may need to um, tear all of this, this whole wall out and redo. And what we would do is we would bring the shower all the way out to here, make it a lot larger then. So anyway, at that point I would repaint. This is a little cabinet Mark made for me out of barn wood. And I just put like my special perfumes and things in there. And then I just have a little candle going with my sea glass, a jar of Epsom salt, just plain. And then this, I just put some, um, I guess some little bath salts that I had purchased and I found that at a consignment store, meaning the glass container. And then, this is an antique soap dish. That is one of those French soaps. They're huge, they last forever. This one I believe is rose and I love it. Um, they're just so softening and uh, like I said, they last forever. This is just a uh, shower gel. So just use as a soap. I can't use a uh, bubble bath but sometimes uh, I do like to have something special and that smells wonderful. I do know Linda sells, what does she sell? She has the bath, the bubble bath, and I believe the perfumes in that brand. And this is one scent that I love. And then this is, again, a milk bath. Honestly, I believe it is just shredded up soap extremely softening. I love this company. They are out of Bend, Oregon, I believe, and um, very softening. 
and I love their products. So, and then this, you can see the cord going up. That's actually a heated towel rack that was here when we purchased the home. I use it as a towel rack. I don't know that I've ever really turned the heat part on. So anyway, that's all of the goodies around the tub. Everything is clean and shiny, and maybe I can take a bath tonight. So the other thing I was going to show you is, this is my runner rug that I have here in the bathroom. It's a ruggable, I don't know if you've heard of those. They are washable and I love them. I have two in my kitchen also. So they have the backing. As you can see, they just tear apart and you wash this part here. I have washed the, pad, the padding also. Now I call it a padding. Uh, I, I say that rather loosely because it's not like it's a thick rug. You can see it's, it's pretty thin. This one has been washed numerous times and I love it. <laughs> so I would recommend those 